Hmm. Ha. Okay. All right. I think we should be live now. Okay. I've been looking forward to this since Sunday. Ah. Uh, I really do love this mod, even though it's so freaking hard. Well, I mean, there's difficulty settings, I suppose, but... <laughs> anyway, ah, uh, I know I haven't streamed for a couple of days. I've been adjusting to my summer schedule. It's always really hard on me to change sleeping schedules. And this one involves me being awake quite a bit earlier. Hey, hello, Noah. How's it going? So, yeah. For the summer, instead of going to bed at around 4 p.m. No, I'm sorry, 4 a.m. I'm waking up at 6 a.m. This is quite a big shift. So, yeah. It's going to change the schedule when I do my streams. I mentioned it in my Discord. I don't think I made an announcement video about that, but, uh... Oh man, you're not going to be able to appreciate all the changes this mod has made to the game. I assure you, this mod... there's Civ 4 has the best mods, and this one is my personal favorite, my pick of the bunch. And there are so many things that have been radically altered about the game. You really have to see the base game to appreciate it. Yeah. Unfortunately... Civ 4's music always gets me all kinds of copyright problems. One time I actually had a video banned worldwide because, because, I don't know, YouTube didn't like the music. So I run music that uh, YouTube has given the thumbs up to. I literally have a folder, just music for Civ 4, <laughs> that I play when I'm streaming Civ 4. Uh, anyway, let's see. So... So, an axe man. Uh, okay, right. I just conquered this last time. I just conquered this last time, and I'm plotting, plotting against the Berbers. Because they, over and over and over again, have caused me problems all game. But... I'm worried. I've already extended several cities. I'm worried that if I push any further, I'm going to be overextended. And now I've got new neighbors. <sighs> the city's not on a hill. It doesn't have a wall. How am I supposed to defend this thing? Mm. I don't know how I'm going to get strategic positioning. Oh, well, I'll have elephants. That'll make up for... Ooh. That'll make up for a great many things. It looks like the Berbers just founded a new city. Let's see. Yeah, I could still do that. I'm just going to rest long enough to heal. I guess everyone's injured. Good grief. Okay, you're fine. Hold on, those who are in good health, please step outside so we don't have such uh, overcrowding. Okay, everybody rest up. We're gonna. Every war has been other people initiating on me. I'm gonna preemptive, preemptively strike here. Otherwise, they'll just declare war on me yet again like they've been all game. Okay, this is my capital. Mm. If I'm going to expand, I need to work out my economics. But on the other hand, it looks like I lost another one of these guys, so I better replace him. My science is suffering right now. Okay, I have a great profit and... Uh, Zoroastrianism now, is it? Hmm. 
I wish someone would break up the Taoists a little. Okay, let me consider. I have currently two great prophets, and there's only one more building in the game for them to found. I have one great artist. I could afford to trigger a golden age, or I could plant this prophet. a little bit of an economic boost. That golden age, though. Switch back to civil religion, and I could switch into the caste system, which boost my... Yeah. Hello, how's it going? I'm just gonna plant this guy in my holy city. Holy City seem like a good place to put great profits, but I am gonna want to spend a golden age a little later. Okay. Archers. Do I have another archer in production anywhere? Good. Okay, we're set. By the way, my background music. Is it too loud, or is it just right, or how's it balancing with my voice, basically? must know. Okay. Lighthouse. Okay. Uh, this is the place I'm most likely to be attacked at. I need to build a good defense here. But uh, I'd rather per I'd rather, uh, I think I'd rather prosecute my war against the Berbers and finish them out. And before they get these elephants and cause me untold misery. I'm the only one to have elephants around here, thank you very much. Okay. It is a little bit loud, thank you for telling me. How is this? Don't, 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 Okay, I can finally fix this cow. That'll be a, that'll be a huge help. What am I gonna do about all this unhealth? Hmm. Right, that's why we're working on sanitation. Excellent. I need to check on several things. Every city I have currently... Yes, except for the new one. The new one needs to become Hindu. I can have somebody else ship that out. All right. I no longer should have to defend this point. I'm gonna position you lot over here. Right. Alright. That'll be my secondary army. I don't dare start this war until... Uh, every turn he's got that, a turn he's got elephants, but he has to build the stables first. I can wait a little bit until those archers arrive. Uh, well... Possibly... Friday. The Trimp episode might be as soon as Friday. I have all the parts, but tomorrow's going to be an idling to rule the gods, and I just I just have to assemble the parts for the Trimp's episode. I've been moving along, doing quite well at it. Doot. 
It's 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 still going. I haven't ever quit playing it. But yeah, it's a bit slower than the other idle games I've been running. Let's see, you should adopt slavery. How about not? How about I don't want slave uprisings all over my empire? Thank you very much. We're going to tap the caste system, which... Oh, you guys are cutting down that savanna, huh? Which I don't think of as being all that great either, but hey, at least it's something. <laughs> no, actually, I need it because my farms specifically call for it. I always avoid it, both because I think it's a terrible social system, and because I hate that minus 50% birth rate thing. I, I need my great people. But yeah, I'm going to shift. Probably at, as soon as the end of the next golden age. Let's see. Alright. Alright. You guys are going to take a while to pop your culture, I see. I want those walls up. Mm, it's going to be a while before that city is really ready. I wonder if I should pop in one more city around here somewhere. <sighs> I feel like I should be producing more archers. Let's just focus on getting our economy together. <laughs> finally! With all the wars over, I finally have my cow tile fixed. Uh, okay. Right. You were my military center. Right? Yes. Yes, you are. Okay. I should throw this in... Oh, man, I need to do a lot for this place. I need to do a lot. I gotta get my workers down here before this place becomes really viable. But this is where the archers should come. I don't really like giving them more time. with those elephants, but it really does take a while to make elephants. And mine will be stronger than theirs, so I'll have an elephant. What? What do you mean there's only 200 and, uh, 120? What? No, they can't have a cap. They must go on forever. Uh, okay, yeah, you guys need that aqueduct badly. Don't worry, everyone. Sanitation is coming. Alright, we've got 5% better. Oh, yeah, this is this place. Right, I know what this is. Okay, uh. You know what? Actually, you don't need to worry about culture because I'm gonna fight the Berbers. I mean, I'll eventually want to push your culture out, but not now. Okay. Okay. Ah, so many things you guys need to do. But I think the most critical is to connect our roads. Supply lines. Once I have the supply lines, I feel, I'll feel a lot more comfortable going into war. All right, I'm going to go ahead and have these guys build my one heroic epic. I think I think that's the place I'm going to be pushing all my military out of. Once I can get the workers to work some of these tiles, it can be cut it'll it'll uh, be able to have a huge population growth and then it can become a real production center. Let's see. Let's just keep trying.
going to up our economics. We've gotten 10% stronger, economically speaking, since I started already. If I can keep this going a little bit longer... Not having plagues anymore will be a huge boon, too. Huge, enormous boon. Okay. Just a forge. The blacksmith is kind of one of those things you need. Alright. And somebody has fire ships. Well, I'm not really a naval power, so... I would really like to have this. Can cultivate peppers. Hmm. I wasn't able to very well hear it. Tell me if my audio balance just got all screwed up or not. <laughs> Commercial, commerce code. Vacation. Could use the calendar. Compass. Also good. Harbors. Yes. Harbors could help me immensely. Okay, we've got two... Archers there. Two bowmen. How's that wall coming? Nine turns. Alright. Tax office in my capital. Ooh, I can have this world wonder. I really want it. I really do. This is not super important that there's a courthouse. I think I can afford to go for this. Oh, hey. Excellent. I, this is exactly where I want this. Can you upgrade all my sawmills, please? No. No. Oh. <laughs> that or my military city or my capital. I'd be happy with any of the three. Just glad it's not some crappy bumpkin town somewhere. Okay, 15% better. We've got the road. We're 15% better economically than where we were. That's huge. And... We've got two bowmen and we're about to get our wall. Okay. Now, what do we want most of all down here? Most of all, we want to get... First, we want to get food so we can get that population up. Then we want to put in sawmills. I don't think I have the tech to put those in... Uh, okay, good. These bowmen are kind of outdated, but... But I'll try to hold terrain with them anyway. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. It's about to go over to the Germans, then, is it? I wonder where the Buddhists are. Okay. I can now make bathhouses! We are just barely healthy. A market. Yeah. yeah, I think a market. We're about to get our gems and all that. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Okay, 
That will be huge. And the commerce code will be huge. No! I'm definitely not going to mess mess with my relations with the South Chinese as they're most likely to attack me and cause me great misery. Seriously, that's what I consider them right now. The most likely troublemakers for my empire. Okay, excellent. Walls, what else can I do here that will help you guys be more defensible? Not much, so I'm just gonna have you guys make up. Let's make a smokehouse. Then we'll make a temple that'll help with the borders and the happiness. Okay, are we ready for war? Let me see. I think so. I think I've waited too long. I wonder if this city will survive my attack, or if it'll be destroyed. Alright, Berbers. You have caused me more trouble than anything else. So, for the first time ever... But definitely not going to be the last. I think your head would look good on a pole. Too bad I'm not allowed to capture workers anymore. Real pity that. They just get a, they just get disintegrated. Hmm. No walls, no defenses of any kind. Yeah. Oh, right, you're a great general. You can't do that. All right. Hmm, this city has surprisingly low defenses. I could hit it, but I kind of want to keep these guys handy in case I get attacked somewhere and they need to respond. At least until I clear a little bit more. Hey there! How's it going? Looking forward to Saturday? Okay, they are counterattacking with all their might. They don't have much might. <laughs> All right. Your job will be... Ha! Ah, the city doesn't have anyone in it. Yay! Some of the secrets of the calendar. Oh, you guys are in trouble now. We have actual elephants. I can finally build the large stable and just start spitting them out. But I need... But I need bowmen. Yeah, no, we're gonna do this. Wait a second. Does my capital, by any chance, have a stable? No. All right. Yeah, we're, we'll 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 figure out more archers as we go. <laughs> yep. Oh dear. You know what? This city is more valuable. I'll keep the swordsmen there. Okay. Want to hit us again? Go ahead and try. Okay, I'm just going to wait. This will be here next turn, and then we're going to push on. Limestone and elephants. You didn't think I was going to let you guys just take my limestone and my elephants from me, did ya? Huh, a fortress on coffee. Okay. I didn't even know there was coffee there. But that's my coffee now. 
No, I... I said... I had just just crawled through all that dungeon the whole time. But finally got to what had to be the boss. I believe I said something like, I'm ready for anything. And then I was suddenly sitting in a dark room because the power had cut out. I, I, I hadn't been ready for that one. <laughs> so, yeah. That happened. Ah. <sighs> Growth. Well, I can't really cult anything here. Uh, cultivate anything here, so I'll just do this. Hmm. Should we take this? You know what? Let's just ignore that fortress. All right. I don't know exactly where I need to have my cities set up so that things are defensible. These people, they just don't believe in building on hills. Free trade is not based on utility, but on justice. Plutocracy. Maybe. Let me consider it. Guilds. There's the lumber mill I want. But I don't want to enter the medieval a era just, just yet. Soon. Not yet. But soon. I'm gonna go with the calendar. Yay, another great profit, although I don't like this one. Why do I get the feeling if I use him all of my all of my technologies will suddenly disappear? I don't know about this philosophy, guys. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore that fortress. Okay, gems. Finally be able to make jewelers. <laughs> perhaps, or perhaps the boss of that dungeon is just really powerful. And he reached into my world to give me a thwack. Alright. I know I definitely want to take this one. It's just with my units advanced like this, I'm afraid of counter-attacks. Great. Well, I could trigger my Golden Age now. Plutocracy. Hmm. I'd be able to build my buildings faster. I'm not actually using either of those. And then there's the Hanseatic League. I mean, it's really good for my capital, but I'm more of a wide empire this time than a tall one. Uh, I'm not really a naval empire either. I do have prime timber, though. Ah. Uh, it is tempting, but I think I'm better off with civil service for the moment. Maybe I'll end up going into, God, another 25% birth rate, great person birth rate penalty. I don't know. I'm just going to stick to civil service for the moment. Uh. <laughs> oh dear, I didn't I wasn't aware she had a pile of credit cards. I know that Elminster and uh a couple other fellas tend to hang out on Earth for some reason. A couple other super wizards from other campaign settings. I know that much. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this endless parade of great profits. I need a scientist. Okay, which way do we want to go? Take their horses. 
No. I think I should take all these corn fields. They're their bread basket. It's gotta be here. Okay. Elephants! Alright. I'm just gonna go ahead and plant this guy. Yay, economy fixed. Okay, what is this doing? Okay, okay, it's a trireme. It does not transport troops. It can screw up my fishing vessels, but that's about as far as it can go. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I should build a warship, but I'm really not doing the naval game. Ah, Fez! Let's see, axemen, bowmen, skirmisher, easy pickings. Hell, I could besiege it from two sides at once. Okay, but I'd rather pick off this city. Let's just see if anything it tries to counterattack first. Ha! Okay! Mm, this would be good. That would be good. Uh, hmm. Let's go ahead and make a harbor. And a grocer. And yes, finally you guys can have your temple. <laughs> Death Destroyer of Worlds has completed the... Gondas that thing. The Temple of Gond. There. <laughs> I could totally tear into you if I was willing to sacrifice some of my units. But if I'm patient and batter down your walls a bit more. These guys need a couple battering rams and a little bit other. Okay. Alright, I think that this city is going to progress. I really need... I really need those sawmills, but I just don't want to enter the feudal age yet. Also, this poor city is never going to get access to these two tiles. I'm gonna t gonna give you these tiles, though. Sorry, Nara, your city is just not in th those tiles. Are they needed elsewhere? Okay, there's that trireme. I knew it was gonna be troublesome. <sighs> I could prevent a lot of damage with just one. It's a 50-50 shot that this will actually sink their ship. Six turns, though. Hmm. Five. Hello there, Crasher Rusher. Nice. Well, I guess I'm just going to continue building these farms for now until I can do something better. I need to get that city some production. Okay. Two enemy ships. Better and better. Eighty four percent chance. Let's just be patient. A few more whacks should do it. Of course, then again, these are all clearly expendable units I could fling at it. 
<laughs> Why, thank you. I need this. Okay. Alright. Irrigation systems. Food crop plantations. Pretty good. Still classical era, too. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, okay. They are going to wreck all my shit down here. And there ain't a whole lot I can do about it. Hmm. I wonder if I can make fishing for whales yet. Ninety-four percent! I don't have to take that chance, though. Two more cracks and it should be a ninety-nine percent, or near enough. Three turns. Aren't you guys gonna tear up my fishing vessels? Are you- do you have a destination in mind? Oh great, somebody made the art of war? Boo, I want that! I never get the art of war. Somebody else always gets it first. Somebody also got that science building. Ah, I could have used that thing. Help me get great scientists, you know? Hmm. There. Yeah, I guess that'll have to do for the moment. All right. Hmm. I wonder where their capital is. Actually, change of direction. You guys are going to come defend this town now. Shame that that town doesn't have any, uh... Let's see, take that. Shame that this city doesn't have a hill under it, or... Oh, there it goes. Okay, you hit that one. Troublesome, but I can deal with it. Okay, zero percent. Logistical problems two. If next turn, if I wait one more turn and throw these two battering rams to the side before striking, I can have the archers defend the battering rams. Yeah, let's do that. Great. <laughs> Go forth, my elephants. Oh, man, really? It's not even a 50 50 shot? Why? This thing doesn't appear to have any levels. Why is it only a 38% chance of survival? God, and then there's going to be another one. Wait, where'd the other one go? Up, oh, nope, it's over there already. Great. There's not much I can do about that. Oh, hello, random skirmisher. Okay. Perfect. You're done. Your city is done. It's mine now. You have no chance survive. 
collateral damage. Curse splat. <laughs> should I unleash the cavalry upon them next? No, I should use that on the skirmisher. Over a river, up a hill, it doesn't matter. These cavalry are invincible. Okay. Let's see. I guess I'm gonna have this guy strike the final blow. He'll level. I can give him City Raider 2. See, I've got momentum. I can just keep going. Oh, that swordsman can strike any number of places. There. Spearman! Okay. okay, get a couple units in here so this doesn't fall. Okay, we should be able to consolidate. Ooh, that won't work. We'll just, uh, we'll just wait a sec. See how this plays out. I've got momentum, but as I expand, this is why I spent all that time working my economy up. Yeah, I thought you might go for that. Now I have no archer to put in that city, but they can't kill the battering rams on the same move, so... It's not too horrible. Okay, what do we want? The ability to run away? The ability to strike multiple times per turn? Amphibious? It's better I just avoid those situations. Land tactics leads to a lot of different types of level ups. I mean, you're pretty much invincible right now, but sooner or later, you're going to meet your match. I'm going to teach you how to run away. I'm going to have to at least temporarily touch feudal aristocracy, if for no other reason than to give that guy knighthood. Assault 3 is as far as you go, huh? Mm. Two ranks and hills will give them hills attack. If I ever do find a city on a hill. Or I could give them combat 1. Just all-purpose combat skill. I'll take it. Alright. <sighs> Alright, fine. I'll have this guy defend this city. He's pretty good at it. We're gonna combine these. I'm no longer gonna have a unit ready to respond and defend. I'm pretty much just hoping the South Chinese don't attack me, don't bite me right in my butt. They're pretty happy with me thus far, so it's probably okay. I'm gonna give them some clams and some fish just out of the kindness of my heart. Really, I swear, no ulterior motives. Really. Really, no ulterior motives. I'm not plotting your inevitable destruction or anything. Just take this money. God, I gotta do something about these ships.
All right. Right. This is pretty overcrowded. All right, you coupled with you because they're most likely to hit with cavalry I think the spears will do good now we're still ridiculously overcrowded and we need time to heal but I'm just gonna go on the warpath right now oh really there's more to this I thought this was a dead end where does this go? This doesn't collect to an, connect to another landmass, does it? Regardless, I'm taking this. Can't wait to get this limestone. I've needed it for so long. This city by itself won't give me gems, but still a nice city. Oh, a work of science. That's nice. I could use a lot of that. Uh, you? Oh, that's not very good. You! Mm, I don't really like that either. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? I've got a strategy that I can try. Fortify. Eh. Yeah, of course they're thinking about retaking it, but that won't do it. Okay. I back you two up. That's 5% better already. Keep your risks to a minimum at all times. Ha ha! Okay. Okay. Ooh, that won't work. God, you're useless, aren't you? Well, I mean, I guess you provide a recon bonus or something? Fine. Well, no guts, no glory. Come on, don't die! <sighs> we'll just have to replace that unit again. Okay, this archer's pretty badass. Okay, it is a dead end. It's a peninsula. Good. All right. I need to make some Hindu, some gurus. No, wait, carpenter. All right. I also need to make some archers. <sighs> I need to make a lot of things. Okay, yeah, they're pulling back. All right, somebody's got to stay here. <sighs> Who's it going to be? I think I'm going to put this guy there. I wonder where your capital is. Hmm. Another source of copper. I should probably take that. I don't want to utterly destroy them. I just want to make sure that they're never a threat to me again. And that I have a defensible position. This is not defensible. None of these. I really wish 
wish there was a choke point out here somewhere. I really need to scout. If my two boats, if anything survives of them, that's what I'm going to use them for. Uh, you guys do need a bathhouse. Oh, man, you guys need a bronze smith, too. But I need bowmen here and now. And my economy is all the way down again. Okay. Why are the ships so tough? Well, this is gonna hurt. As long as one of the... As, c d damage it! I don't want to lose two ships fighting one. There we go. Please level up off this. That's not leveling up off of that. Oh, great. I need more boats. I can't really afford to make more boats, but I need to. Hmm. Well. Hmm. Well. Fine. Ah, Taoism. No. No, I'm happy being... ...in all your work. Yep. I need guilds. Peasant servitude. Let's learn how to fortify ourselves. Our science is gonna lag for a while because of all this. Because of this conquest, I'm going to need to spend a while. Okay. What do you need most of all? Oh, I need to make gurus. Right. Ugh, or Swami, sorry. Guru, which religion was guru? I forget. We're actually going to end up... We're down to 45% already. This city has no defenses whatsoever. Oh. Hmm. Collateral damage, I'm real good. Again. Again. Are you able to finally score a kill, Mr. Harapan? Not reliably. Once again, what good are you? <laughs> Every time I think of using you, I see a no hope of no hope of victory. Maybe I should use him as a scout. Feels wasteful. Okay, this city has absolutely nothing. It's all right. If silver and gems, if I find what's pushing. Hmm. Spices. Hmm. Spices. Spices. Yes. Where is your capital? I'm on Africa. Ah. I should have known. Okay. All right. This is where all my fortification needs to happen, then. That, and I need to control my seas.
Right. This will actually work just fine. Controlling this entire continent might make me extremely bloated. But I think, given a little bit of time, I can make this work. I really need to do something about these spies. All right, Swami, we need to fix our religion. Oh, I want to make a lot of things. But mostly elephants. More elephants equal better. All right. I wonder where the rest of the Austronesians ended up. Spanish are going to be a problem. Their capital must be here. You know what? I think I really am going to wipe them out. I don't want to. I hope they have a city someplace else, but I need these gems. And spices. I need them. This? Uh, it's called... What's it called? Smoked Kilbasa Polka. So, probably not. It's also one of the things YouTube does not uh does not copyright strike so probably not a square enix thing no we lost him yeah he didn't quite do his job either he didn't find the capital Trixia academy I'm just going to pop that out there. We're going to need to make more fishing boats again. I'll need at least one settler. This city will need actually a lot of attention. This is where my whole army will need to park, but that'll only work if I can build enough of a navy to control the seas and completely eject the Berbers. I have to be complete in this. All right. Not quite yet, team. Just relax a couple turns. All right. There. I feel a lot more confident now that I put this here. Oh! Shit! They took that behind me. Did I forget to leave a defensive unit? How careless of me. Alright, that's fine. We'll just run over whatever's there with elephants. What? What are you doing? Got overconfident because you took out one thing, did you? Craft is classic. Catapults. That'll be nice. Ah! Ha ha! Horsemen versus elephants. Well, we all know how that goes. How well that works out, or I should say doesn't work out. Sure would be nice to actually find some rice. Okay. These guys are awesome. <laughs> They're so ridiculous. Level six. Oh, you have a galley in there, do you? Ah. Uh. This 
is why I love having a special unit during this period of the game. Alright. We'll need to play something to defend that. I'll probably want a little bit of support. Those two can probably take that city by themselves. Everything else is going to want to move on. Get another Swami going. Shouldn't take too much. But I'll never be able to do anything about this Spanish... Spanish across the top. I'm just stuck with that. Alright, I'm going to leave one elephant behind. Alright, we're coming for you. Please have some great people or wonders or something. <laughs> you thought you could take this back, did ya? You weren't expecting super epic, ridiculous level 8 cavalry of death. And elephants. Probably weren't expecting the elephants either. Boy, this city's been through a rough patch. Conquered and reconquered and reconquered. Whew. It's a bad day for lots of people. No. Jeez. Everyone wants me to be Taoist. The answer is still nope. The bathhouse would be nice. All right. All right. I'm going to put you there. I need another bowman for there. Silk. All right. So we take this city. We get silk, silver, gems, coffee. I would say I'd get another source of horses, but we all know that this, that... Yeah, the Spanish is going to pop out when I do this. Rabat! This is your last stronghold, is it? Okay. I need more workers. I really need more workers. Okay, we're going to get an archer there. We're going to get somebody there. I no longer need two units here. So I can send one there. When we do this naval thing... <sighs> I mean, I've got a lot of cash. I suppose I may as well just... No. You know what? We're going to capture a little bit more siege craft from you profit every little bit we can. This time, this game, none of my minds have popped up with any anything. Oh well. So, we'll have lots of happiness and health resources. Keep them coming. Okay, send that to the border. My entire army, all the elephants, everything, will be more than sufficient to hold this border. We'll go into the medieval emp uh, era and build a castle there. And otherwise, I'm going to try to focus on my naval power. All this unhappiness should be washed away when we take the Berbers' last city and their empire dissolves. Because most of it is cultural problems. Alright. Here. I think I want a courthouse finally. Is 
Sadly, this is more of a conquest empire than a defense empire. But... That's okay. If they ever attack me, they know what'll come for them. I guess. Okay, I want to move this guy out. This is inland. This cheap warrior will be enough to hold that. Well, they should do something about this random savage archer. It's been living down there on that side of the mountain forever. Okay. Hmm. Boy, all these stupid desert tiles. I wonder what I can do to make this city prosper. Oh, well, for now, they'll just be the first place to get bathing. Okay. <sighs> I, my empire is so bloated right now. Unfortunately, I don't know that these units I'm using in this war are ever going to be valid in another war is probably going to be the last of their usefulness. They'll provide inspiration bonuses, of course, and someday I'll level them into, or I'll, I'll convert their levels, keep their levels, convert them to a more powerful unit, I'm trying to say. Okay, we're going to need to make a ton of work boats. Probably a ton of workers. Get another swami. Hey, finally! An artist this time! The body is seen by the mind, but the mind is seen by what? Other minds? Okay, this is not my military central. about ready. Man, I need to switch to the medieval era and start building sawmills everywhere. Alright, let's go here. Two great artists. Well, I'll have use for them soon. Once I finish off the Berbers, we're gonna have such a golden age! I'll probably wait until the city stops being in revolt first, of course. Silver. Gemstones, coffee, I've got, just got the spices. Unhappiness really shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to safely go into the Middle Ages after this. Man, that guy was tough. He just wouldn't go down. What you got left? A skirmisher and a bowman, huh? <laughs> I'll give the Axeman another shot. Whew. Awesome. Hmm. 
Okay, drama. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, no great people. Nothing interesting. Oh. Oh, well. We got one science thing out of all this. Okay, now everything we've got is happy. Okay. So this is going to pop down. Can't really help that any. Okay. We're going to need to get something here. Oh, a slave that we can emancipate. Okay. For now, I'm going to send this bowman that way. This whole army is going to park up there. Okay, he can go there, where he can be of some service. This is going to be one hell of a golden age. I should plan it very carefully. Because you don't get very many golden ages, so you want to... I could have ingenious engineers now, too. I should probably convert these into catapults. Don't ask me how one turns a battering ram into a catapult. It must be quite a job on... Uh, some very clever engineering, that. Okay, that's my limit for elephants. Oh, I need to do a lot of things here. Let's go with a grocer for now. Let's see. I think you might want to specialize against... melee units. Couldn't couldn't hurt to have an elephant that's particularly good at eating infantry, you know? Okay. Go ahead. It's a bit pricey, but I'll... If things go wrong and I need siege... They play many parts. Okay. Classical. Oh, that's what I've been looking for. Medieval, medieval. Okay. Good. Actually, you're going to produce the third bronze smith. I need work boats from here. All right. Let's see. Ah, we'll do our navy next. Ah, uh, God, there's so many things I want to do. I wonder where the Austronesians' remaining stuff is. Courthouse. Oh, right, I need at least one settler, don't I? Dare I make a settler at this point? Yeah, I think I dare. I think I'll dare make it here? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Not a particularly useful tile. I'll take it. I'll take it all. This city is too important. It should have all the tiles. Okay. Alright, that's the bowman. This is actually a point that could be attacked. We'll get our navy there, though. 
Another thing I'm gonna need is a way to more rapidly transport men about. Might not be a bad idea to put some cavalry somewhere in the middle where they could potentially respond. Okay. Right, the new city. Okay. Really, you're sitting there? Do I have fishing boats on everything that can be fished? Well, there'll be need for one there. What about over here? See, here's one you could go to. Hey! What are you doing sitting around for? There's nothing in your way. You just won't go, huh? Looks clear to me. Ah, the fishing boat just doesn't want to go there. They're like clams. We're above fishing for clams. Okay, there we go. Incense, that's a good one. Okay, so after at the war with the Berbers, one happiness, two health, one happiness. Silver and gems is potentially two more happiness if we build jewelers, which we couldn't even build before, as well as a little bit of wealth will be produced by that. So four, four happiness, four health, then we're going to have dyes and coffee. That'll make it six health. Man. Profit, profit, profit. And most importantly, I know where I have to defend now. I don't have some crazy-ass border I can never hope to defend. What the hell is that? That is a way bigger ship than I can make. I am a bloated, bloated empire. If they attack me here, I can defend. If they go the sh if they go with ships, I'm in trouble. And my science is going to be crud. For quite some time, I think. This is gonna suck. Great. Great. I could spend this great general to get skirmisher warriors or ingenious engineers, but I think I'll just keep him here as is. Is that a worker? Oh. Cool. Uh, where are my workers? Somewhere? Guys, where you at? Oh, right, they're over here somewhere. So we'll start working on the incense. Alright. Well, we won't worry anymore about worker boats for the moment. Hmm. We've already got the settler going. These are not sufficient to the task of defending my empire. I'm going to have to tech up my uh, boats. But I can at least scout. Open borders, please. Hmm. Somehow I don't have sheep. Well, you don't have bronze, so ha ha. But you have iron. Still, without bronze, you'll have make it difficult for you to build ships. Cattle for sheep. Yeah, beef for mutton. Okay.
Here, take some free corn and some pork. I'll even give you spices, but no tactical resources. In time, this may lead to open relations, though, my gosh, they have a minus six against me. That's very hard to overcome. Is there anything even left of you? I don't believe there is. I will actually give you strategic resources. I don't imagine that you have anything left. Probably an island or something somewhere. But I need trade partners. Man, it takes, it takes Judaism a freaking long time to learn how to make a rabbi, doesn't it? Okay, well. Nah, I don't really feel like militancy right now. Okay. Let's contemplate our medieval era now. Whoa, good grief. There you've got up to long bowmen. Somebody's got cavalry that can strike at a nine? Oh, great. I am way behind. I bet they've already scooped up all the wonders. Somebody's got fire ships, but there's at least a little bit better naval power. This could go a long way to correcting my economy. Optics, whaling boats. Okay, that would go a long way towards correcting my problems. Long bowmen. Long bowmen would be really good too. If I could go up to this archery training and get them. Castles would be nice. Let's go straight for that. 31 turns. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I have to build it manually. I see. Okay. You know what? Actually... I think I should build it in my military city over here instead of my holy city. Okay, so you are just waiting to trigger my golden age. I'd rather have the guilds first. When I do this golden age, I want merchant families. This is the one I want. I want to switch into the rudder. Er, yeah, I need the rudder. Okay, this is what we're gunning for. Then we'll trigger our golden age. Then, okay. 
Also, when is the next art? Where is it? I could use some art. Man, somebody is so far ahead of me in tech. They could just tear me apart. Here we are, church architecture. Not bad. Cathedrals. Yeah. Yeah, medieval art. That would put a use to my artist. Haha, <laughs> science! I might finally get a scientist! I wouldn't object to an engineer, neither. Okay. I need workers. Yeah. Okay, get over there. Okay. Ah, and this will give us bananas. Anything to give us a little bit more health. And potassium qualifies. Okay. I don't think this was the best spot for this city. I don't necessarily want to build it on top of the bananas. That's too close. Eh, fine. I guess this is where it's going to go. I mean, I could build it on top of the bananas. If it would give me access to three more tiles. Hmm be a waste of fertile soil to build it here. Three more workable tiles, though. I can't say no to that. We're gonna go there. I don't have a single city that's wrapped in forests, though, to be my national park, do I? Closest I got is Nara here. Four, five, six, seven. Seven forest tiles. Weirdly, my capital has more forests than any place else. Huh. I, I've never built a national park in my capital before. It's interesting. You would lose access to coal, which is, well, it's quite a hit. But, hmm. <laughs> Sounds awful complicated. Maybe they used the old RAM. Maybe they took the old battery RAM and just cut it into boards. <laughs> Use that. Yeah, gotta wait until I get my rudder. Okay. Okay. This is one overcrowded city. Supply problems five. No kidding. All right. Okay. Good news is, as soon as you guys pop your border, you've got fish. Hmm, I still have a swami out there somewhere. Where did he end up? I guess that's the answer to that. Make another! Okay, let me check my cities. I 
want to see what your religions are. Why isn't it listed? I just want to make sure you're all Hindu. Hmm. Got the one city I just found it, and I think... Okay, two. Two more Swami. Then I can start spitting them into South China. I have open borders with you. So I'm going to take advantage of them to scout a little. Really? Your city's that far away? Oh, I see. You've got a world wonder in there. That's the Hanging Gardens and... Hmm. So you're pushing my border here. Silk. Well, I've already got silk. Iron. Well, I've already got iron. So I don't really mind too much. You won't be able to flip this city. You got marble and you're not quarrying it? What's wrong with you? All right. It's a pretty nice city there. The capital city of Taoism. Well... Owning holy cities ain't that big a deal anymore. In a previous edition, in, in, in previous, to see the greatest religious city in the world, I'd be all drooling over the idea of conquering it and getting all the money. But here, oh wait, no, that's not the holy city. My mistake. Why do I think that was the holy city? I thought I saw a little thing next to the religious. Let's see, Dravidians are over here, are they? Yeah, you guys are technologically ahead of me. Okay. Not seeing a lot of world wonders, at least none that I'm identifying. I wonder who ended up with the Great Wall. You did. I see. Okay, there's German. No, okay. I'm sorry, the Chinese have the Great Wall. Hmm. I should not be surprised, I guess. All right. It's not much, but it's what I got. Oh, dear. My economy is so bad right now. I'm going to fall, fall, fall behind. The urge is to embrace the sea. Capture cities on five total land masses. Uh, okay, well, I mean, I guess you can put, put one on this island over here. And, um, I mean, I guess there's an, there's an island over here. I, I don't know if I can settle something on that. That, that makes three. All right. So. least one more of those. Uh, actually, I'm going to take you and I'm going to scout on the off chance that this leads to more islands. I'm sure it doesn't, but it couldn't hurt to look. Okay. Let's produce another. Workers. Okay. Get to there. A lot of cities with health problems. Okay, China is up here and down here with South China in between. What is going on? Clearly, this was the original where they have the wall. The wall with the silly little thing, and yet, how did you manage to take this bit of border from them? There's a story there. We built this wall to establish this is our border, and yet we lost this tile. Somehow. Okay. 
Right, the holy city. Hmm. Should I make some some more workers out of here as well? We do need a lot of them, but I don't want to have like 50 million workers with nothing to do. Eh, we can make a few more. Eight workers will probably suffice. Until I have the railroad, then I'll wish I had more. But then when the railroad's done, I'll be like, okay, I don't need all these workers anymore. Ah, well. Let's keep doing things that prevent us from getting more plagues. We're entering the Middle Ages in 15 turns. Let's see if we can do it without a thousand plagues. Okay, you just own one city down here. How? Oh, did you take it from the Americans then? Hmm. You know, actually, this isn't a bad place for a city. Not the worst place. I mean, it's not that great, but still, fish, pearls, food, and wealth. Oh, uh, I'm not, I'm literally not capable of building a navy that can fight right now. Keep looking. Empire is so bloated. I know I keep mentioning that, but holy crap is my empire bloated right now. I'm going to take all the wonders and get all the advancements, and if they actually t attacked me... I don't know, I'm fairly confident in my elephants. I have six of them. But... Even so, I'm not entirely confident in them. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's get... Da 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 Keeps making them. Ooh, what is this? A canal. Very nice looking. Okay, I see one wonder. I see a national wonder as well. Aqueduct, all kinds of fun stuff. Okay. Man. I'm still 40 turns away from being able to build a ship that can't even compete with anyone in terms of Navy. Why can't I make an engineer anymore? I used to be able to. What happened? I swear I used to have an engineer here. Hmm. Well, no matter. Stop giving me great profits. I don't have use for them anymore. <laughs> part looking out here I'm not seeing any resources I want not that I'm plotting their eventual destruction or anything just just curious 
You can trust Death Destroyer of Worlds. Really, he's got your best interests in mind. Okay, looks like unclaimed territory somehow. I don't know how that could even be. Okay. This city is going to be huge. Absolutely enormous. Hey, this city's actually managed to build itself up. You know, we're gonna throw up walls. It couldn't hurt. Most of my cities will probably take a moment to do that. Really? Unclaimed territory. Fur. Don't have fur. Wish I did. Okay. Nope. Despite all my gifts, you still hate my guts. Well, okay. Hmm. Hopefully those you refused our state religion things will go away on their own eventually. Prime timber and fur. Mm. And iron. How do you guys feel about starting an Arctic colony? No, my empire would completely collapse if I tried it. All right. Is that a plague? Doggone it. Yet another plague to cut through my lands, huh? Alright, fine. Okay, that makes eight. Eight workers, that's what I was aiming for. Okay. So this is a corner. China, what you doing picking on the Americans? You've got land you haven't even tapped. Just, just there. Ready to go. Okay. Yeah, this city is going to be huge. Maybe I'll want to build some water wheels later when we figure out how that's done. Da -da -da. <laughs> they can make windmills too. Okay. Great. Now if we can just get it to here and there's a 0% failure chance since there's no current religions oh good Fez is about to expand okay now we're in the medieval era but I can handle it I have the resources another wonderful quote I got a great scientist! My first one of the game! The globe of the Earth stands supportless in space at the center of the celestial sphere. The Earth is circular on all sides. Yay! Okay, we can now make workshops. Mm. I think we need tax offices first. Don't like that increased pandemic chance, but that can't be helped. Okay! 
There's not a single great work of science left for us to invest in. But... Okay. Yeah. Definitely my capital. Okay. That's a small, huge step in catching up. Ah, oh, hi. Right, the Germans are Jewish. Right, right. Okay. Uh, no, we don't need a spy. We are going to need to build a few buildings, though. Okay. Alright, fine, that'll work. Wine! Eventually we'll get alcohol, too. Okay. Alright. I guess I should start clearing this stuff out. Let's start over here. Let's go pay att some, some attention to our holy city. Man, how am I falling so far behind in tech? Capital is also your holy city. Nice combo. I never get that anymore. Really let you stack your stuff, though. Okay, now we can make tailors. Right, we got our silk border expansion. Let's get our workshop. For dock. Let's get grocers. Prioritize those. Hmm. You are a little bit underdeveloped, aren't you? Did you lose your capital at some point? That could very well be not your original. Hmm. Weirdly, the slash and burn farm is slightly better. Okay, I'm clearing it anyway. Alright. Alright. 17 turns. I'm going to get a little further till I'm sure that I can research it within my golden age. Man, I wish I could have the University of Sankor. Can't help but feel like I missed out on that. Is China all the way over here, too? China is here, here, and here? What in the world is going on? Okay, I found them, the Americans. Okay. Okay. Solar cult capital is in Baltimore, which is owned by Spain. Man, the Americans seem like... Oops. You guys have had a rough game, haven't you? I can't even trade with you. Alright, this is about as far as I'm going to be able to explore for now. Okay. 35%. Okay, I can do it now. Yeah, we're going to do it. It's a real shame to lose my great people, but... But I think it is worth it. Okay. 
Okay. All right. This ultimate invincible military unit just out and about exploring now. They must be legendary. They're legendary adventures at this point. Okay, here we go. Burn up two great people for a golden age. Okay. Now, while we're still in pacifism, which will only be for 11 turns yet, we are going to maximize our great person production. And then we're going to turn it off. Sadly. Man. There. We're going to push get that little squeeze that last one out it's gonna be another great profit unfortunately but eh I may do one more golden age down the road so I think I'll save it for that time gathering three great people is gonna be kind of a trick though wish there's more ways to get a golden age gate of the sun All right, this brief window where our science will boom and our production. Can I drain swamps? I cannot. All right. Let's see. I should just make a skirmisher and push it on explore after this. Sure, why not? A Harrapin Horseman would be best. Alright. Grocers. Alright. Let's keep that chance of plague down. All right, and the rudder. Couldn't hurt to have an extra one of those ready, should we ever need it. And you are going to be mine. Extra swami, should for any reason I need I gain a city for any reason. He who loves practice without fearing is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass. Never knows where he may pass. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Castle. Glass blowing, rum, theocracy, obsolete my temple, no! Hmm. See, I believe this one leads to the Kremlin as well. I sure would love to be able to build that. Although I doubt this city has the production to manage it. Hmm. I should get my workers up here to help this one, too. Okay. Six moves left. Make up for all those horrid desert tiles. Well, I have a city that's still not 
Hindu? Hmm. All right, you are an explorer. Go forth. You'll be faster than the horseman I was using. No. I mean, they're not trading with me. They're no threat to me. Right, you know what? For once, I'll allow it. Seems to be a ton of people that are at war with him. Although somebody might be on his side that might get angry at me. God, there's always all kinds of diplomatic complications. Okay, let's see. So this is pretty much it for the Americans, huh? I mean, I wouldn't possibly consider, would I? Well, I mean, there's nothing else for this army to do. I mean, if this were a ruse for them to counterattack me, by getting my army to step outside, but I don't think the AI really does things like that. It's not really capable of thinking to that level, is it? No. This is probably okay. And the South Chinese seem to really love me. Not that that necessarily protects me from an invasion, but... I don't want to pop my borders with culture. Ah, stupid pandemics. The ever-present pandemics. This is actually not too far afield. But I don't really want to own such a city. I have killed you all in the past, and you have hacked and cut me too. We've all been enemies and killed each other. How can these thoughts of desire and attachment arise in you? Okay. Nice positive outlook there. Okay. We can build lumber mills now. I know where I need a ton of those. Ooh. Oh, man. That army looks almost like it could take you by itself. You got nothing left, man. Right, I'm going to gather this into my capital. Two more steps, and then we massively alter our shiviks and shift gears again. Sorry, I'm just about to change civics, and that's not the one I've chosen. Man, you are so dead. Does this city even have a resource? Nothing's even developed. This is really just kicking someone while they're down. Kick, 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 kick. Do, 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 do. Da, dun, dun, da, 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 da. Our mutual military struggle brings us to finally have open borders. I can explore. 
your territory. That gives me the trade routes I need. <laughs> well, there are a lot of difficulty settings, at least. Oh, shit! No! I just used the last of my golden age without shifting my civics. Ah, what have I done? Crap. I wasn't paying attention at the last second. I'm prone to this sort of error. Okay, now we have dyes. <sighs> now I have to burn two, three, three turns of doing nothing because I didn't... Uh, well. Anyway, let me see. So my great person production is going to go down to crap. It'll be a little unhappiness. But we'll be able to build faster. Our economy will improve greatly. And we'll get more food everywhere and stuff. But there's going to be three turns of ick. Oh, looks like your defenses have been reduced to poop already. Somebody else must have hit you. Ooh, really? Now this is a fortified city. Despite everything I've got, I cannot crack it. All right. How do we look now? Still too much. He has no chance of counterattacking, so I don't have to worry about that at all. Okay. Yikes! How are you so tough? Is it just the fact that you're on a hill? Is that it? Well, regardless, you are completely unassailable. Oh, well. I'm not really... I don't really want to take the city anyway. I'd probably just end up giving it to somebody. Whoever I felt was the least threatening to me. Probably the Germans. Make friends with them. Spain is basically controlling all of Europe. The enemy has been spotted where? Oh, wait, you're talking about this, aren't you? Hey, how's it going? This poor city. Oh, look at that! It's the last guy. Well, I don't mind kill stealing. It happened. It's happened to me enough games. It's what you get for inviting me to join your war. Hey, how about that? Oh, it's got a bunch of stuff in it, but nothing particularly valuable. But I really don't want to try to maintain a city up here, even if it is on a hill for a change. Even if it does have access to a resource, I don't. I would just end up having somebody try to take it from me. I'm going to wait three turns, and then I'm going to gift it to Germany. I think that's the best move. There, I hope, the least likely to be a... There's the holy city of the Taoists. There, I hope, the least likely to go to war with me. 
Okay, we're gonna start building our sawmills now. Oh yeah, this is huge. Okay. Not too happy I kill steeled you, huh? Now what are all your armies gonna do, huh? Oh, I got a free worker, did I? Well, that's nice. Alright. There's probably some islands down over here I should investigate. That might be a place I'd actually consider colonizing. to our fortress. Okay, now we can begin with our castle. I love this quote. Okay. It is the age of the castle and sank into the swamp. Fourth castle. <laughs> That's what you're getting, lad. Okay. Zoop. Eh, the ooh. Vassal states have begun. Oh crap. I would like to give you this city. A whole city, all for you. And I'd like to make sure we stay friends. So please take some fish. All right. So. Germany is very likely to get itself at war with either China or South China now. It's now suddenly bordering Spain as well. China is interesting. It's definitely of leading power. But the way it's divided up, I'm not entirely sure it's all that great a position. Huh. This is the holy city of Islam. I didn't notice that before. All right. Okay. We have the rudder. We really need to start making our navy greatest threats to us. I have been the person who has ended two empires. Oh good, the gifts I was giving you finally paid off. Excellent. Alright. Alright. No, we're not in the great people business anymore. That time is past. Hmm. We are much happier than we ever were before. Our science is a little bit stronger than it was. Yeah. We'll be able to build buildings significantly faster, and even our military disposition is improved. So we should be able to handle...
Now we're just gonna keep throwing down castles. I used to do more for us than this. Okay, let's see. The moment you guys finish that workshop, we're gonna start castle. to explore that area anymore. We should go there. Hmm. I'd really, really love to get the Kremlin. I never get to get that one, though. Okay, what do we want to do here? Produce wealth? Produce research? Well, it's, it's a little bit. Yeah, Kremlin's already taken, of course. Okay. What you should be building is this. Dun, 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 dun. Da, 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 dun, dun. I have so much work you guys need to be doing, but I suppose my capital is most deserving. They've put up with having undeveloped tiles all game, waiting for these sawmills. God, these war galleys just will not cut it. Oh well, we'll try building a whole fleet of them and see how it turns out. If they just have whoops, build, if they just have stuff one step better though, they could sink my fleet with but a few boats. That's how naval combat generally goes. They can't offer support to each other like other units, and there's not really a rock paper scissors thing going on either. Huh. That's not really all that big a deal. So you know what? I'm just going to leave you guys as is. If it comes to it, I might later upgrade you. Pushing that science up. Castle. Someone will trade gems. Wait a minute, don't I have gems? Huh. Somebody built a hamlet on top of gems. Who does that? Hey, I actually resisted the urge to make a Hamlet-related joke. I didn't shout out something about a king of shreds and patches or anything. Alright. What the? What's going on? Uh, excuse me? I assume that that was a barbarian. Oh, the Hun did that, did they? Uh, Chinese are having trouble with the Hun, are they? Okay, all right. Well, so much for my scout. Hmm. Excellent. Productivity is skyrocketing. Now if I could just get to research where I, you know, to the point where I could make wonders again. Let's go ahead and slap down a castle. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Up, oh, up, oh, so much for that. The Germans took it, did they? Oh, now isn't that interesting? That splits them up further quite a bit. Gives them another border with South China and China. 
The next war is going to be involving Germany. Ah, why? Never see those cancelled once established. Oh dear. I have to stop for the day. No, not yet. A more powerful boat. Yeah. That would be a fitting ship. And it would give me whales. Play just a just, just a few more turns. I finally got getting things into order here. I've stabilized at 50% science. Okay. The last work. Good morning. You're catching me right at the end. Okay. I have lots of reasons to be very nervous, but I'm in a good position on a whole right now. All I need is... an economy and a navy. And longbowmen. <laughs> and then I'll be comfortable. Uh, the Navy being the most important of those. Let's go ahead and make another stable. Can never have too many. Why am I going for the Kremlin? What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? I'm not going for the Kremlin. I mean, I'd love to put the Kremlin over here, but it's not even an option. Somebody built it already. It's not even on the map for... for not even in, in my options. I, I literally have no idea what... what... why, why you thought I was going for that. <sighs> They're, they've beaten me. They're, at this point, I'm losing out on every single world wonder. I've fallen way behind in science somehow. And it's getting worse and worse. Um, it's just kind of spiraling. If I, can't get a, if I can't catch up in science, then I'll be in a lot of trouble. But if I can get a navy... If I can get a navy and long bowmen, I'll feel safe. I have no idea. I didn't catch who built it. All I know is it's not an option anymore, so somebody's got it. I've so far destroyed two empires, two sieves. Uh, I don't know about a list of built wonders. I know I can look at the top five cities. Let's see. Two of them are me. Okay. There's the University of Sancor and the Lighthouse. Holy crap, look at this place! Wish I had science. Oh, there's the reason. You're the ones who beat me to that, are you? And the art of war, too. Ah. <sighs> you. I'm gonna get the Chinese someday. Oh, here you go. South China built the Kremlin, apparently. There you go. Okay. So, I have the quest to build on five different land masses. Not sure how I could possibly accomplish that at this point, but I figure I'll look around a little. Might as well make an extra large stable. I've got elephants and elephants and elephants! I'm using them purely defensively at this point, though. 
I've got an army meant for taking stuff that's just sitting around. Why are you minus 53? Looks to me like South China took a Chinese one, but this is Quin Shi, not... Yeah. Well, I know that there's going to be some islands over in this corner that I'm heading towards, and I have two possible spots I could put them, but... But I see no reason to even bother unless I can make the full five. I mean, my borders are going to pretty much own all this anyway. The only thing over here is like a fish and a pearl. Okay, let's see. I can finally make sawmills. Okay, well... No sense in trying to put a city there. Oh, this is the holy city of Christians. This has been populated a long time. Salt! I don't have salt. Huh. China is losing. Amber. I could try to get a fleet over here and snatch this. could try to colonize these islands if I'm able to build up a fleet which is what I'm trying to do because I need it as long as I have a fleet I just have to protect this one point and I'm safe as long as I have a fleet because then they can't take me through the na water if I do control the seas I could try to take these islands, but I'd want to get some kind of thing. I suppose I could put by, uh, I mean, if I could get Versailles, but I could just do, uh, there's a national wonder that has that effect of being a second capital. I'd have to put it out here. seven turns I can start building real boats hey my economy recovers bit by bit progress this actually does seem worth doing I'll be able to build a ship better than his tower ships But aside from salt, I'm not seeing much out here worth taking. Economically, it might be better for me just to hunker down where I'm at. Hmm. I mean, amber is not really all that valuable. So like, oh yeah, Australia. Oh, is that where Austronesia's the been? That's where the rest of them are, is it? Okay. Now, Australia. Now, that is a worthwhile conquest. There's no way the Austronesians can fight me either. They've still got a chariot over here. Ha! Ha! a lot of cities producing science right now but I need it okay. I need things that increase the production of these sawmills oh well oh 
see. Crabs. I do not possess those yet. Man, how do Astronesia get all the way out there anyway? A second source of limestone. More salt. More whales. Oh, good. Cotton is up for trade, is it? No, not you jerks. Cotton for... Uh... Clams. Okay. Oh, uh, right, right. I keep forgetting. Where is it? Right. Go to those gems. Poor Austronesians. They're not sharing borders with anyone. They think they're nice and safe, having carved out this new land for themselves. Okay. Oh man, I'm falling ever more behind. City rights, trading posts, trade fairs. No doubt that's already been built. Hmm. do need schools which architecture is nice my gosh I'm just so far behind good grief good grief I'm pouring everything I can into science but they are just 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 so ridiculously far how are they getting further and further ahead like this I don't find a way to catch up. I'm just going to be crushed. Oh, good. My second great scientist. Canada. All right. Well, that's good. I don't think there's a... I, I didn't have access to a single science before, though. Huh. No, I need this for Australia, but... But, I mean, it would help. It would help enormously. <sighs> well, I mean, look at the kind of absurd levels of food I've got. I can't make scientists. It's, I mean, it's just good grief. I don't know how I'm supposed to catch up. Every science is just taking forever. Most of my cities are producing science at this point, and I'm still falling behind at a 55% rate. I'm hiking it up as fast as I can, but this is, this is, this is bad. I'm not going to remain in this position much longer. Oh, Jane... I guess I'll have you do it. I've, I've built libraries almost everywhere. The new cities that I took in the last war don't have their buildings all in place yet, but they're working on it. They're working on the essentials, mostly. But even so, those cities are small. They wouldn't be able to produce a lot of science. Not like this. This is the corner that would, is doing all the production for science and everything. This is the corner that should be producing all my everything. But it's 
not working. Hmm. See, I don't know how much that is. I don't know how big an effect that is because that's one of the new systems. I'm used to the idea that conquering more territory makes you better. That you're supposed to expand when you're able. Oh man, somebody killed an empire. And it wasn't me. I missed one. Oh no. Oh, I can't make a second. Shit. Oh great, what the hell can I use this for then? Crap. Right, right, right. Alright, I have to see... There's not a single science left right now that I can make. Uh, God, where is the next option for that? Paper comes in two turns. We'll see if something comes up. I know that there are more sieves out there on another continent somewhere. Okay. I'd really like to take this, gain several additional resources, complete a quest, but I, uh, yeah, I don't think I can afford to expand. I mean, I can't afford to expand. I can economically support it, but if it's going to make the resource costs even harder. Harbor. Plus two to scientists. Plus one to libraries. Mm, I generally like to get things like that, and I am about to build a fleet. Oh, food. I'm about to build a fleet. This would be so good. But I really need my science. I mean, I really need science. We're about to pick up schools. That should help a little. Alright. Let's go ahead. Where is it? Didn't I just research optics? Why am I still looking at these crappy ships? Shouldn't I have gotten... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Where is it? Yeah. Requires black powder. Oh. Requires black powder twice, apparently. Okay. Shit. Really? So... I sh So... Really? I'll just be forever not able to build wonders or make an... I thought this was just... I thought that this was just supposed to balance it a little so that the little empires didn't fall as far behind. I thought this was just supposed to prevent them from falling so far behind. But this is to punish the person who's got the most territory? So instead of a conqueror, the best way to play the game is to just burn everything? Because if I conquer more cities, all that will happen will be I will fall further and further behind. If I tried to if I tried to expand, I would just lose faster. As they would come to have units that I could no longer fight. Well, I hate burning. Burning is stupid. But how else am I supposed to do how else? If I sit still, they will tech advance until they have cannons and guns. 
I lose the game. If I conquer their cities, I fall further behind, they get cannons and guns, I lose the game. If I burn their cities, then they can't, um, then they lose. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, okay. But I have to take like three cities or something to gain attack. Two or three cities. But in conquering those cities, I slow my science down and I lose the game. You can't... You can't expand endlessly until the Renaissance. You really can't take... I could take Australia. I could take a few cities down here. But I can't really push and just keep going. I don't know. I don't know. But unfortunately, this is where I have to go to bed. Stupid summer schedule and getting up early in the mornings. So, I have to stop here for today. I, I don't... No, I'm aiming at defensibility. Look, strategically, this is the correct move. This is absolutely the correct move strategically. Here's why. I have a choke point here. I have to defend exactly one point. Pushing even one city out is immediately going to cause problems. I don't have paved roads. Supply lines are a serious, serious issue. But so long as I can only defend this one point, I'm fine. I've got a castle there. I've loaded up with troops. This is, this is defensible. Assuming that I build a navy so that they can't attack me via the ocean, I am perfectly defended. If I go out here and take this, again, assuming that I've got naval superiority, this is absolutely a safe bet. Absolutely a safe bet. I can drop a forbidden palace here so that the maintenance costs aren't so, aren't so hard. And I can maintain my empire without having to maintain an absolutely massive army. A huge army is always a huge drain on resources. And by being able to not, you know, by being able to keep a reasonably sized army, I'm able to afford... Eventually. Eventually. Since I'm playing as a conqueror... Uh, I will eventually want to conquer and spread out into other territories. But you want to do you want to always plan very carefully. You don't just want to jump at the biggest and best cities. That is a losing strategy. You want to always carefully plan your defenses, you want to plan your economy, balance that. The, the economy balance is critical. Really, it's the Renaissance era that you want to uh, really start pushing into stuff like this, especially if you can get a technological edge. You get an edge, and you hit the Renaissance where you start being able to uh, field large, large amounts of uh, territory without your economy crumbling, and that's the time to conquer... Oh, it's going to be... The way this landmass is, it's going to be very difficult. Spain might actually be the next point to attack. Spain over here. To start with... Well, I'll start with their borders are infringing in my territory. But uh, it's a lot easier to conquer and defend. You'd start with Burgos here. You'd move out to... Toledo here, and it would be very difficult for them to... You could just leave a skeleton here on the uh, 
apparently. It's the Buddhist holy city. You could just leave a skeleton crew there and push. Weirdly, they don't have a city down here. I don't get how they don't have a city down here, but they don't. It's it a little bit more difficult, but once you've taken out to, uh... Hmm. It's difficult. It's difficult, but the supply line is fairly short for naval to transport troops across here. Alternately, you could try to conquer from this corner. The advantage of here, it's it's kind of terrible. It's kind of terrible because you take a city, but it can be attacked from multiple directions. And then you've got cities that aren't touching the shore, so you can't use your navy. But you would eventually connect to your existing supply lines. Eventually. But this is... Any way you do it, this is going to be hard. This continent is going to be really, really hard. It honestly might be better to wait until the Renaissance and check out what's going on in the Americas. Depending on the situation there, it might actually be better to conquer those. Unfortunately, unless you're lucky enough to get Versailles... Because if you're using your Forbidden Palace on Australia, you won't have that for the Americas. Yeah, Spain really does seem like the best. <sighs> but like I said, my problem is science. I'm falling, falling, falling right now. If I can't keep up, they will get every wonder, which currently they're getting every single wonder. I have the infrastructure to really build wonders. I mean, I mean, I could really pump them out right now. I just got all these sawmills in play. I've got every building I can build currently. This this city is just ready to, to do it. There's a bunch of cities down here that are just ready to put out wonders. It's rough. It's really rough. A lot of these cities are small still. They just don't have the production that they need. I need to get the workers up here to work all these tiles. Great people are done. <laughs> I knew that was going to be what it was going to be when I did... Uh, when I switched into caste system and gave up my pacifism, but... They're just done for now. But it's letting me accelerate my construction in all these cities very rapidly. <sighs> I don't know. Because I need a 25% construction boost. I have a lot of cities that need to build a lot of things. I need, I need grocers, forges, libraries, the works. All these cities that I took need that. So, production. Lots and lots of production. Yeah. But it also doesn't help me produce. It's a question of shoring up your weaknesses or, you, or focusing on your strengths. In this case, pacifism would be, sh would be covering a weakness. Whereas uh, civil religion is is uh, adding to a strength, and I really need these cities to produce. Actually, if I wasn't so terrified of my science pr production, I would drop my science rate and I'd be rush producing buildings. But I'm too afraid of falling behind. Plutocracy. Uh. Why, the Hanseatic League? 
I don't know. I looked at the plutocracy, but I can't help but feel like I'm getting a little bit more out of civil service right now. Again, it's the production and all my cities thing. This would give me more money. Give me the option of the Hanseatic League. Hmm. It's not really a very important thing. The local bureaucracies are nice, but not a huge deal either. Hmm. Hmm. It's pretty good. I have a lot of stuff that's not coastal, admittedly, but, but I do have a lot of coastal cities. Let's see. Let's see what we're looking at. Everyone wants to run slavery, I guess. Uh, looks like the Chinese are running plutocracy. Let me see. You said it was visible on this side. Let's see. These aren't not in alphabetical order. I just have to scam over every single one, huh? Hanging Gardens. I don't see the Hanseatic League anywhere. Hmm. Two turns of revolution. 10% off all my production. Plus one trade route. Okay, I see, they're in chronological order. No one's... No one's done it yet. Hmm. Alright, I'll take a shot at it. Two turns is a lot to give up, though. Man, I wish I had another Golden Age. Oh, well, there's the last of my cash. Alright. Let's see. No, you're more important. You're more important than anywhere and everywhere. Take up all the tiles. They're all yours. Okay. Okay. Where is it? Wh where is it? City rights. City rights. City rights. <sighs> ah, jeez. <sighs> Let's at least get those schools. There's no way I'm going to get it. Somebody's going to beat me to it. <sighs> hmm. Let me see. You guys. Okay, there's nothing left I can do here for... Borders. Oh, well, that's nice. Local legend. Guys, do really need that aqueduct, but I think it's more important. Is that 
let's see. That. Offer toll house taxes. Wor workshop. Fish docks. No, you don't have any fishing boats, but you could use. Let's get that production up so we can build more crap. All right. Sink a mine shaft there. These otherwise worthless desert hills. Oops, crap, I was gonna fine. Show that again. Uh nah, that's okay. Although they do they this they manage to hold managing to hold themselves together. <laughs> Everyone's using proxies in Asia, huh? This would be nice. Man, I want it all. I want everything. All right, we got to have city rights. Man, I got so many things I need to build in so many places. I right, make a proper coffee plantation. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Carpenter. Where'd it go? Carpenter? Where are you at? There you are. No, that's a siege workshop. There it is. Huh. That bad, huh? Great. All right. Yeah, sure, you can have your booze. Your booze house. Okay, let's see. Siege worker progress. Guess an aqueduct. Hmm. Cottage. Did the peasant neither life nor death? <laughs> Good old Tokugawa. Always having. Always having his people's, uh, his, uh, people's interest in mind. Let's see, levies. Definitely not. And they've got the Hanseatic League. It's just, it's just no competing with them when you're this, just... We can still make trade fairs. <sighs> Bet that's done. Really do want that stained glass, though. Vassal states is interesting. Alright, we're gonna finish up with city rights. Nobody's able to explore the new world just yet. Right. All right, let's see. Oh, there's one we haven't done. I want to be systematic about this, I think. Okay, market. We gotta do something about that guy over there. Uh, still with the epidemics. 
Oh, yeah, you def definitely want a fishing dock here. Grow, my city, grow! Hmm. Oh, yeah, I should probably have done that a while ago. Okay, good friend. Castle, plus 10% defense and all feudal aristocracy. <sighs> Support cost per unit. Can draft one unit per turn. Constable, fortified keep, erotic chamber. And it allows knights. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'd be able to upgrade my one super cavalry. Hmm. Upkeep is only three bucks more, but I'd be giving up 10% gold in all cities. The cheaper unit maintenance would not make up for that. Hmm. And none of these buildings are worth all that much individually. I don't know. But as I said before, this will have to be our last turn because I need to go to sleep. Stupid plagues. All right. Hopefully I'll have some kind of plan next time. We're about to see what's been going on in the Americas. I wonder if the Americas are ahead of us. No, they can't be. Or they'd have already sent ships over. So much of this tech is so incredibly potent. Hmm. Fortified Keep is pretty nice. That is new. That's almost enough to make me want to do that. Here's the blast furnace. Coal. Mm. I already snagged that. I think I still have a great artist kicking around. Ah, an education would be nice. Oh, really? University is only worth 15% now. I see the boost to scientists, though. Huh. Apparently, the best scientists come out of universities. Okay. Hmm. Or work for them. Great Bombard. Hmm. Hmm. It makes straight up masonry materials, does it? Okay. But it requires two coal. Oh, great. One coal is not enough to make bricks. You have to have two, okay? They've already got units that have eight strength. If they attacked me right now, I would just die. South China can already crush me if they made a concerted effort. I don't know. We'll see what happens next time. I don't know. I just don't know. Well, anyway. 
Until next time and every time, this is Hadrix signing off. Bye.